Hello everybody, this is Fernando for the latest Godzilla Rant podcast. I do these every now and then whenever I come across a topic that I just need to share information about with everyone on my YouTube channel, mainly about criticisms about stuff that I come across that I think is interesting and uh, hopefully everyone else out there is interested in this too. And in this particular case, it has to do with the news that pretty much, it's not official, but it's as close as it can get to being official that there won't be any kind of sequel using the same creative force for the original Dread film. And what I mean is this, um, those of you who have followed my channels uh, for the longest time, thank you again so much for your continued support. Um, Every now and then I would talk about Dread, the movie that came out in 2012 starring Carl Urban, which I later came across like most everybody did once I saw it on home video. Um, Unfortunately, I did not see it in theaters, and that was the main reason why there was such a huge petition thereafter because not too many people if any at all saw it in theaters back when it was released in 2012 but like most other cult films it created its own following once it was released into the home video format and there was a huge petition that started because of it that I helped join which was to try to get the sequel made. The movie is good. If you haven't um, seen it, check it out when you have a chance. It's still on Netflix and it's still on Amazon and uh, the petition itself was about trying to encourage others to watch the film and then in turn share it um, with others and try to get uh, the producers behind the Dread film to make the sequel. Well, unfortunately, I came across this bit of news just this past weekend. It was actually done late in December, but um, it's kind of like spreading um, little by little um, on the internet uh, throughout the month of January, and that's where I came across it here. Alex Garland, who was pretty much the driving force behind the remake of Dread, um, he was the one that gave an interview both to Sci-Fi Now, I believe it was, and then also there's another link on IGN. I've included both links below for yourself to share. But he was pretty much the driving force behind Dread. I mean, he was the producer, he was the screenwriter, and in some cases he was also not the director, but he was the guy behind the scenes after the uh, movie was finished because apparently he had to step in when the original director uh, may may have had a little bit of conflict with some of the producers but if you could sum up one individual responsible for the film that's pretty much him and he seals it he seals the deal when it comes to uh, the news that there won't be a dread sequel and in fact I'll include some quotes here Uh, for you now. He said, the reason why um, the movie didn't work, and it makes sense, he says, it's very difficult making a case for Dread because the first film didn't work, meaning the Stallone film, and then the second film didn't work, but didn't work in different ways than the first film didn't work. It manifestly didn't work as a theatrical release, particularly in America, or in fact anywhere outside of the UK, and that makes it a hard argument. DVD sales are all very well, but you are still talking to people about them handing over a lot of money for a film that's happened twice and has not worked in their terms either times. And then this is where he pretty much seals the deal. He says, uh, the character has too many positives to be abandoned forever, but it's going to be someone else at some future point who restarts it, who has another crack. What our relationship was with the previous film, someone else will have a similar relationship with ours. It will be a different group of people at a different group of at a different point in time. Well, if that's not as official as it gets, um, unless he personally states it in some kind of contract, that's about it. Um, There will be no Dread 2 for you fans of the original film um, coming anytime soon. That last line especially pretty much states that he says that it's not going to be by them, it's not going to be by him, it's not going to be by that DNA Films who apparently still has the rights to the Dread film or the Dread franchise, it's going to be by somebody else who will have to take over the film rights and then continue from there. And even then, that's a long shot because as he pointed out in that article, it didn't work the first time with American audiences. It didn't work a second time with American audiences. How is it ever going to work a third time? How is it that anybody is going to have the... um, I guess enthusiasm and the money to try to convince uh, audiences a third time 
that this will be a big success. Pretty hard to do that. It's kind of like with the upcoming Fantastic Four film. Um, there was the previous franchise that was made a couple years back. It kind of petered out. This new one that's coming out this summer, it's the second chance to get things going with the Fantastic Four. If that doesn't happen, a third chance will probably occur, but it'll be somewhere along those lines. If there's any hope, it's the fact that involving, like for example, the Hulk. Uh, there was the first film that came out in the early 2000s that also petered out. There was the second film with that Norton guy from Fight Club. And while it was a better entry, it didn't necessarily uh, was the kind of wham-bam type of success that they were hoping for. So that kind of stalled. And then finally, when the Hulk was placed in the right film, in this case to being the Avengers, he became the breakout star. Everybody loved that character, which now has catapulted the chance again of, of, of course, him being in the sequel for The Avengers 2, but also of a future solo film. So it can work. It just, it, Dread just has to be in the right property at the right time for it to happen. And then also um, on the interview with IGN, this guy Garland actually takes some responsibility for it because this is what he says. He says, it makes me feel sad, really. I feel grateful to the people who have attempted to get a sequel off the ground and sorry that actually what happened was we let them down because the reality is that a film needs to acquit itself. It shouldn't need a petition. And the truth is, if it gets to a point where it needs a petition, it's in big trouble anyway. So, yeah, uh, he's a realist. He admits that um, it just didn't click. It's good in its own right, but it just didn't click with the right masses. No matter how good a film is, if you want a sequel, it has to make money. And there's not going to be any anybody in Hollywood that will move towards making a film that didn't make money just for the sake of making it for the love of it. It has to make money. It has to be realistic uh, when it comes to that kind of uh, business transaction. But yeah, that's the latest news. Dread 2 is pretty much done. It's not going to happen. Thank you for those who were supporting the original um, online petition for it. Um, those of you that especially uh, were able to purchase uh, Dread whenever it was on DVD, Blu-ray, especially during the targeted dates or the targeted dates for watching Dread on Amazon, I'm sorry, uh, yeah, on Amazon or on Netflix as well. Uh, thank you for that too. That's another thing too. Um, I include a third link actually. It's from the numbers.com and it's pretty cool because the numbers.com shows information that I've been long looking for and it has to do with films and what they make in home video format like blu-ray dvds because that information seems to be really rare but in this case um, i've included the link for dread and despite all the high blu-ray sales and dvd sales that everyone keeps mentioning in actuality dread didn't make too much it didn't make that much in dvd sales and blu-ray sales the final tally and this is about as final as it's going to get because uh, anybody that uh, know, you know, when there is a release of a film, everyone jumps to it at the beginning, let's say three, four weeks or so, and then it uh, peters out afterward. Um, so in this case, the total tally so far is about 18 million. To give you some perspective, um, a movie that starred Jennifer Lopez, I can't remember which one it was, it was some. Um, uh, one of those movies that she's always in where it's like a thriller of some sort it ended up making something like uh f over 40 million somewhere around there in rentals um even a film involving um uh what is it see no evil because somebody pointed out on imdb which was a film that made nothing in theaters it ended up making about 45 million in video sales even the ninja turtles film the most recent one that came out this past summer that one came out and to this point it's almost at a hundred million when it comes to its dvd blu-ray sales so it goes to show 18 million for dread didn't exactly set the world on fire either in fact it, it when you compare it with some of the other stuff that has come before and after it has it's in the lower point um it's in the lower mark so that's not good news either so anyways just wanted to share that rant with everybody i wish that this film would have had the big success 
that would have warranted a sequel unfortunately it's just not to be that's just the way the world works sometimes um, who knows maybe somewhere along the line somebody another studio another producer whoever they decide you know what let's take a chance again and we'll do it some way that'll actually capture the uh, both critical success like the dread 2012 film and then also financial success catching that click with american audiences so that way it can make enough money for a sequel so all right everybody thanks again as always take care